All righty, so this is Classroom Screen. It is a favorite of teachers for managing um, all of the different things that are happening in the classroom. This quick tutorial video will show you some kind of neat ways to use it a little bit differently. So first, I wanna take a look at the background tool here. You may not have noticed that you can upload backgrounds from your computer. Now, how is that important? Because you can save images of student work and place those on the background of your classroom screen. That does two things. It's going to give a good model of what the work should look like, but it's also going to be a, a really neat shout out to the student who did that work. Now, the random name generator, really, really great. It draws a random name, just like it says. But you might not have considered that you can do that twice or even more times. So now I've got two random name generators. And now I can decide which students speak to which students. I can also color code these groups using the settings cogwheel at the top. Let's make this the blue group. And let's make this the purple group. So now I've got two different groups and they can both use the screen in a little bit different ways. I'm gonna to go to the QR code reader here. This QR code is gonna to belong to the purple group. So I'm gonna make that purple just so they don't get confused. I can also title the station or title the QR code rather. And choose show title. Now they can see that this QR code goes with this space. And again, I can duplicate that as well. I'm sure you can think of some great options for what these QR codes can be used for. Um, but just off the top of my head, I'm thinking Canvas Studio videos, YouTube videos, links to anything you want them to access and get there quickly. And then you can have a, a station manager go up and scan the QR code and bring the device back to their group. I can also color code the classroom management tools. So if this group is supposed to be using technology, they might be green. Or if I want to use the management tools here, I can make sure that they know for the purple group that they are on uh, Ask a Neighbor. Same here, let's make this purple. So really I can color code all of these things to fit in with each of my groups. The last thing I want to show you is the video media tools here. I can directly embed Padlets, um, videos, all sorts of things, direct YouTube's uh, pictures. But my favorite is the webcam because I can open this up and here I am. Hello. And um, if I have my document camera plugged in, I have an input direct to the board of me working on my document camera. So I'm not having to toggle back and forth between multiple tools. So again, all of these really, really great. Now, one final thing to show you, this home button is a super cool tool because I can actually save that screen and I can add a screen if I have a different class or I can even add a poll. So let's open this poll and now I have some even um, uh, more interactive features. So I can do multiple choice and we can uh, gather some data from our class that way. So really, really cool. I don't have to log in, but I can save up to three screens uh, if I'm not logged in. And um, if there's just some really great options as classroom screen grows and gets better and better and better. So feel free to share your ideas with me on how you can um, use this awesome tool.